Hello and welcome to the new video in Excel. In this video, we are going to see how you can add many new sheets using the macro. We all know how to create a new sheet in the workbook. We'll just right click here, say move or copy and uh, we can mark this as a create copy and click OK to add a new sheet. If you want one more, you can do the same thing. So this is okay if you are creating maybe say two sheets or maybe 10 sheets. Suppose if you want to create say 100 sheets, it is going to take a lot of time and also you have to keep uh, remembering how many sheets you added and things like that. So in this scenario, we can make use of the macro. Here we'll see how to create a macro in Excel. By default, you don't see a developer tab here. You can see home, insert, draw, etc. Just right click anywhere on your ribbon and go to customize this ribbon and here you will see the developer mark this and click OK and when you come to the developer you will see there is a record macro and macros and different menu options here. Once you are here click on the record macro to start recording the macro. I will click on record macro and you need to name this. We will say copy sheets and click OK. So now you will see this one instead of record macro, now it is uh, stop recording. So that means it's uh, started uh, recording. So we'll do the same thing, whatever we did uh, for creating the new sheets now. Just right click here, move our copy and click move to end and create copy. So what is doing here is it is recording all our steps. And again, right click here and uh, move our copy. Now we'll stop the recording. Now click on this uh, macros. So it will show you whatever we recorded here. Click on edit. This is one way to look at the code. This is the macro code actually, the VBA code. You can close here or you can press Alt and F11, the function 11 key to see the code. If you look at here, what it says is sheet one dot selects and we said copy the sheet after the sheet one. And again, second one, we copied and it says copy after sheet 2. So this simple code, I mean it's uh, suppose if I want to add only one sheet, we can just need these two line of code only. So we'll just rerun and see whether that is uh, working or not. You can go to macros again and here I will just say run. So you'll see there is one more created. And again I can come to macros and run. This is how the recorded macro can be used to create uh, more sheets. Suppose if I want to create 10 sheets, I need to run this macro 10 times. Instead, we can do one more thing. We'll go to the code. Going to the code is again, you can press Alt F11. Here, we'll add some counter. We'll say dim. Don't worry about this uh, syntax. It's just, uh, we are just giving counter as integer. And here we'll use two command for counter equals one to say five. And here we'll say next counter. And also we started with counter equals one to five. That means five times this has to run. So I can initialize with counter equals one here. That means you are starting from counter one and again it keeps running. So now we modified this code. We'll just go to macros again and run. Let us see how many sheets it's going to create. See it's created uh, another five sheets. I'll just uh, delete all these sheets. Suppose if I want to create uh, say six sheets, so I'll just go back to my code again, Alt uh, F11. I'll change this five to six here. And also I will put the breakpoint here. Breakpoint is it will the, stop the execution here. You can run this uh, macro from here as well, clicking uh, this or you can press F5 or you can go back to Excel and click on macros, select uh, the macro name and click on run. So as you see here, it stopped. To continue that, you can go to debug and uh, say step into or you can just press F8. You can see, see there nothing is created. Let us see what happens uh, here. We'll just move the thing here. If I press F8, see this is created again. Again when I press F8, so you can see this counter number is 2 now. Previously it was 1, now it is 2. Again I am pressing 2, 
So you can see here, there is one more sheet gets created. And see the counter is two now. And I keep the cursor here, I can see. I can, when I press F8 again, so counter has become three. So I can keep pressing F8. Or if I don't want to go by steps, I can press F5 as, as well. So it created uh, five sheets. This counter is five. So that means one more times it will run. So now counter is five. So now counter has become six. That means the sixth sheet will be created. This is also created now. So now when I press next counter, this counter becomes seven. This is seven. So it is came out of this loop. So it's finished. All the six sheets are created. This is a very simple macro. In this way, you can create uh, any type of macros. This just record all our steps and convert that as a VBA code. If you require any changes, you can modify those code and rerun it. In this case, we just recorded this, uh, these two lines and we added this to rerun this for multiple times. Hope you like this video and it may be useful for your day-to-day uh, -day work. If you think this video is useful to you, please uh, press the like button and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your time and uh, see you again with a new video.